Welcome to Arkansas 911 News. I'm Angel. Maddox. Yes, and we are going to talk about... What happened today? Today. Today, we had a little incident at Diamond Head where um, it was some kind of car crash and it was crazy. The car looked like it was totaled and it was sitting upright facing the wrong way at the Diamond Head front gate. So we don't know anything about that. Uh, there was somebody, at least one person was injured, went in the ambulance. Uh, Lake Hamilton Fire Department went out there, did what they could do. State troopers were there. The state park ranger came out there. And why was he out there? They're close. Lake Catherine State Park is right around the corner. And so they assist. Everybody around here assists. You know, um, it was a pretty wild radio call. Officer needed assistance immediately. So whoever's close is going, man. That's how that works. Okay, so you'll see a little bit about that in a second or two. And then you'll probably have read about it by the time you see this. You know, you'll know all about it. But we got a little bit of video. What else happened today? The... I can't read this. I need the white light. Uh-oh. Watch your eyes. Uh, we revamped the website. Website, you know, I told you all we were tightening screws and turning things and getting a little more professional as we go. And we got the hostess here, Angel. She's part of this host uh, anchor team, you know. Uh, so the website's coming right along, and it's, it's only going to get better. That thing takes... A little time to line all that stuff up and get it right and make it look good um, and then right now we're gonna take us a little break watch some video and then we'll be right back
37 for you. It's going to be National Park Room 2101. National Park 2101. Take patient heritage. Your patient will be on O2. Central Station going to National Park Room 2101. Take patient back to Heritage Nursing. Patient is on O2. Uh oh, we got a call. Hang on. Ugh, live in action. We may have to go somewhere. Watch this. It's a sick call. We can't go to that. All right. And we're back. We're back. Thank you for watching. How about our Facebook page? Go visit our Facebook page. Where like can, it. Where can they find the link to that? At www. Why are you looking at me? At www.arkansas911news.com. You can go to there, look, check out our website, or you can also find us on Facebook. Either one works. We're about to do that again. Okay. Have you not seen the website? We like often, once or twice. Well, look. Here we are. Here we are. Back again. We got to stay on script. Let me see what we got here. We talked about Diamond Head. We did. We talked about the new set. We got the car here. We're in the news The news car. Yep. Snow and ice. We had a little episode. Well, I, and, and I'm, we're not going to get into this. We're, we're just going to say that um, we're explaining stuff on our website. And this is a red light, by the way, so don't, you know, your, your TVs aren't messed up. We got the red light on. Uh, when we get an official word of something like the bypass is closed, we're going to tweet that and we're going to put it out. I got that from an official source. You'll have to trust me. It was a, somebody knows what you're talking about. And it was not just one source. It was several. And there's been comments on the page to the tune of that uh, there's no blame nothing nobody did anything wrong stuff changes there was certainly enough wrecks up there I think they were working five at once up there Wow. yeah they didn't need anybody else crashing uh, so I'm sure they were talking about somebody was talking about closing it so maybe something they had it laid out it and it didn't happen I don't know anyway things happen you got to be flexible around here this is a different um, different for, different news format as it happens emergency response um, okay that's the bypass the other thing is this murder this homicide we had a thing on Friday where everybody was going to this place all the patrol units were going and CID the detectives were coming and then they got the coroner out there and I get there and there's crime scene tape people 
blocking a door and asking questions and um, so I'm gonna put that picture up I'm going to it I'm there what am I gonna say about it the police are knocking on doors well then the first thing y'all are going to know is why what are the police why are they there what's going on so I said possible homicide because that's what it looked like it's what it sounded like it's what it felt like I was there well people didn't like that possible and why didn't they like that I don't know they're not flexible I guess I don't know they just uh, didn't like that at all now I've heard big news say possible stuff there's a uh, you know I can't think of it off the top of my head but possible well you can you can go with big news CNN I know I've heard possible hostages um, possible shooter you hear it all the time we had a possible homicide so anyway there's a good chance in the future there'll be something else that's possible and I'm gonna say something's possible so that's how that's gonna go enough of that awesome that's what we do we you don't have to you sometimes we, you it's it's not we don't know what's going on we're there and we're trying to tell you what's going on um oh okay what's what let me see where... what's that what's nert the bottom one Oh, next. what's next what's in next? on Arkansas 911 news? What's next? On Arkansas 911. What is next? What is next on Arkansas? What's next? On Arkansas 911 news. Anything big coming up? Any, yeah. Anything yeah, there's, we need to share, tell, explain to the viewers? There's a couple of plans. I don't nothing I want to let go right now. I'm not going <laughs> to. Okay, we're going to cut this off. And then we'll be right back with... A, a public service announcement. <laughs> Yay! Angel's going to give you a, a tip that'll save your life. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Hey! Here it's us again. So, what kind of PSA do you have for us today, Angel? Entrance ramps. An entrance ramp? Yeah. Like, what is that? What are you talking about? Like when you go up on a bypass. Getting up on the bypass. Yes. The Martin Luther King Jr. Expressway bypass. Bypass. In Hot Springs. Yes, Beautiful. Sir. Hot Springs, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Okay. For all you people that don't know how I do it, this is how I do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Every entrance ramp on our bypass leads to a lane of traffic that's going to be traveling at least, well, the speed limit's 65 miles an hour. Now, you know as well as I know, how fast are they driving up there, Angel? Usually slower. Angel doesn't drive. <laughs> she, she doesn't ride in cars or go on a bypass either. These cars, they'll clip through their 80 miles an hour and they don't care. You know, you're doing the speed limit and they're passing you, all right? So you're going to have to be doing at least, well, the speed limit. You got to do this. Don't, don't be breaking the speed limit. You got to be doing 65 miles an hour, roughly, when you get to the top of that ramp. When you're about to merge into that traffic, you got to be doing about the same speed they're doing. And then they can adjust and slow down, speed, move over. And then there you go, and you're in line, and you go. Merge on in. If you get to the top of that ramp, and you're about to get into 65-mile-an-hour traffic on the bypass, and you're doing 30 miles an hour, guess what's going to happen? That's right. Crash. Something bad is going to, it's going to look like this. Oh! Right? <laughs> yeah. It's not going to be good. <laughs> scare everybody up there you go up there doing about the speed they're doing and everybody can move over and shift and everything's fine if you're going faster than them you're going to cause the same problem as if you're going slower than them you got to be doing about the same thing they're doing it's easier for everybody to adjust and now that's going to be 
ideal conditions. Perfect roadway, perfect weather, moderate or light traffic. If it's heavy traffic, if it's raining, ice, or there's a bunch of potholes, something wrong, or a construction zone. Yes, slower. Oh, yeah, all that's going to be different. But I'm talking about ideal conditions. The easiest thing for me to do, get up there, get right in 65 miles an hour. If you want to drive slower up there, do that. I mean, there's a minimum speed. You got to watch out. But uh, please, I've, I've seen it too much. Y'all get to the top of the ramp. And you're doing 30 miles an hour and everybody's jamming on their brakes coming up behind you and then some people get to the end of that ramp where the where the dotted lines stop and then they stop and put their blinker on that is a no-no all right what else you got on that what about an exit ramp how do you use an exit ramp you have to use your blinker let them know what you're doing put the blinker on mm -hmm. Blinker on, then exit. Y'all don't like surprises on the highway. No, surprises always are bad. use the blinker. So you get your blinker and you get off and then what? And then you, I guess, just go where you're going. Right? If you go on down an exit to put your blinker on so you let everyone behind you yeah. know. And then you go off to your exit and then you turn left or right or straight wherever you need to go. Yes. All right, that's about it. Hit it. All right.
I'll have to explain that to you in a minute. Whoa. Mm, ship's sinking. <laughs> okay. Well, that's going to be the end of this movie. Thank you for watching. Yeah, visit us on Facebook. Make sure you hit the like button. Share us with your friends. On Facebook. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs>